Hey guys, uh, welcome to my humble abode. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, I'm Josh or Wick Gamer. Um, um, the main point of, of my channel is to uh, record videos of me uh, and sometimes uh, a few of my friends playing board games. Um, I've, I've been doing it for a little over a year now. I think I'm at 14 months as of the recording of this. I've posted around 200 videos in that year, 14 month time frame um, of just episodic content of, of different uh, board games that I've played through. Um, and I've been thinking over the past year uh, and I felt the need to, um, to record um, just a few quick episodes on on how to record uh, board game videos on a budget. Um, when I got started out, I um, I didn't have a whole lot. I did uh, a bunch of research and I couldn't really find much at all. Uh, I mean, there were some um, uh, videos on YouTube that said, you know, here's how to set up uh, recordings for board game playthroughs. And they had, you know, multiple thousand dollar, you know, uh, DSLR professional grade cameras with hundred dollar lenses, uh, boom tripods for overhead recording, um, you know, $400 lighting, uh, you know, all of this crazy stuff. And I didn't have any of that and I can't afford all that stuff and I didn't know what I was doing even if I could afford that uh, so I, I started just using what I had um, and and if you take a look at the the very first videos board game videos that I posted I think the Kingdom Death playthrough was the very first one um, it, it wasn't great it was it was definitely a learning process um, and uh, I'm I felt the need to to make this video that so that if you decide that you that you want to start posting videos of board game playthroughs, or reviews, previews, what, what whatever, um, that you can do it without having thousand dollars worth of equipment. Um, I got started with honestly an iPhone five and an iPhone six and some ingenuity. That that was it. Um, so uh, I think the point of this video, I think that episode one of this little series, I'm gonna talk about uh, video, audio, and lighting, um, and kind of show you my setup, uh, how I kind of evolved um, with, with the channel to make, um, to make it a little bit better, um, some of the pitfalls that I ran into that, that I was able to resolve uh, through different, different ways, um, but uh, with that, let's let's dive into it. Let's start out with with video. So I started out, like I said, with an iPhone 5 and an iPhone 6. Um, I actually have the iPhone 5 running right now. I was able. I, I think that's actually the iPhone 6 running right now. And uh, um, I uh, basically set these up. Um, I I had one recording me and one recording the board game itself, and I built this contraption uh, and and uh, sawed uh, angle uh, angular mounts into it so that I could get different angles of the uh, and record the board game. And I'll show B-roll of that too. Uh, I was able to find it and, and pull it out. Um, I ran into a bunch of problems. Uh, um, first off, uh, the video quality wasn't amazing on the older iPhones, um, and I had horrible lighting, which didn't help that matter. Um, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over right now to that old iPhone 6. So uh, here it is. Um, I'm also, uh, when I started out, I didn't have any audio video equipment, so I just used the recording from the iPhone that, that you're hearing now. So uh, um, you can see the difference between what I, how I was just talking and, and uh, the audio quality now. Um, uh, but I ran into a bunch of problems right away. One was this. Uh, whenever I uh, placed a card down on the table, you, uh, got a drink, moved around, it, it, I, had, I have the, the camera pointing at my board and the camera pointing at my face sitting on the table. So any kind of movement uh, would shake the camera, cause vibrations, um, all that good stuff. So 
uh, I ran into a bunch of problems. Um, I solved some of them by, uh, I moved my camera of the mug uh, back off of the table and I actually set it on a, a chair like what I'm sitting on now and piled like these little like cubby crates and board games on top until I got the desired height. Um, that was an absolute disaster. Um, on top of that, I didn't have uh, like a mount for my iPhone. So I had built this um, little piece of wood that I could kind of stick um, my camera into to keep it vertical. Um, and that was prone to failing, to getting off kilter, to moving. Um, and it was, it was atrocious. So, um, uh, but that's how I, that's how I recorded board game uh, playthroughs to begin with. Um, uh, I wasn't satisfied with the audio quality or the video quality. So um, eventually uh, I, I decided to use um, newer phones. So I, I had a, 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 my personal phone I used was an iPhone 10. So I set that up um, as my mugshot camera. And then I uh, had my buddy Ethan gave me an old iPhone 8, which I'm still using um, to, to record the, the table. So that gave me better quality for video and audio, but I still had the issues with the shaking of the table and stuff like that. Um, uh, uh, my other friend had an old Nikon tripod, uh, so he loaned that to me, and that's what I'm recording on now. Uh, so it's off table, um, so it doesn't matter if I if I smash the table in frustration; it's not going to wiggle around. It also gives higher quality uh, uh, audio to that. So, um, uh, and I'll switch over now. I I actually my current setup to explain. Uh, pretty quickly. I've got an iPhone 8 doing the uh, tabletop um, and I've got an iPhone 11, which is actually a, my work phone shh, um, that I'm recording my mug uh, with. Um, so I'll go ahead and switch over to the audio uh, first for the iPhone 11 that, that my mug is on. So that this is the iPhone 11 audio, which isn't horrible, but there's a lot of echoing. Um, there, there's not a whole lot of control over the audio at all. Um, and then I'll switch over. This is the iPhone 8 that's actually sitting above me right now. Um, and uh, so yeah, so, so that's the audio that I use for a long time as well. Um, and, and it works fine, it works great. Um, some other uh, things that I, I started noticing um, was the, the table movement again. Uh, to resolve that with the mug, I put it on a tripod. Um, and to resolve the overhead, I, ha I, I um, concocted a, a contraption, um, a bunch of two by fours um, and some chain that I got from Home Depot. I, I hung it from the ceiling. Uh, I built this, this sliding contraption over my table so that um, I can move the camera in the overhead position and it's not getting in the way of the, my mug camera. Um, I can, I can, I've got like a old uh, car uh, mount for, for a phone that I've screwed into a two by four. I, I can slide that back and forth and kind of adjust where my camera is facing uh, on the board. Uh, that has been super helpful. It keeps everything out of the way. It doesn't inhibit our playing. I don't, we don't have to worry about shaking the table. Um, it's, it's in place and it's there. Um, so uh, that's where I spent some time as well. Just two newer iPhones that, I, that we basically use daily and then set up for recording when we recorded our games. Um, the next upgrade I made, and this is honestly the nicest equipment that I own currently. Um, my friend Julian, uh, he moved, he plays our D&D campaign with us. Uh, he's been, we've been playing with him for years. He's an amazing guy. Um, he moved to Texas and we were having a lot of issues with, with audio quality. Like he was, uh, you know, we were trying to use a webcam with the webcam microphone. I'd, I'd set up a, a microphone in the middle of the table. It, it just wasn't working. So he actually offered to pitch in and buy uh, five um, microphones um, and a, a Yamaha mixer. So I'll show you B-roll of those. Uh, and, and, and if you watch my D&D &D campaign, you'll see that we started out with them just on these tripods sitting on the, sitting on the table. Um, 
that failed for a couple of reasons, mainly because it was in the way all the way, all the time and people would bump them and knock them over. Uh, so I ended up mounting them on the table. I screwed hole, uh, I drilled holes in the table and mounted them so they're permanent. I, I tucked the wires in really nicely. That caused more issues for the same reason as the cameras because when I would bump on the table, it would shake the mic and cause distortion, which was horrible. So I spent some money and bought some really cheap shock mounts. Uh, I think they were like $10 or $15 a piece. Uh, that helped a lot, but still, um, if people got a drink of water, they'd bump, bump into the microphone or, or scrape against it if they were standing up or sitting down. They were kind of in the way as we were playing. If you see our Gloomhaven playthroughs, you can notice that we had a lot of those issues. We'd reach for the board and scrape along the microphone that would cause distortion. Um, so I decided to, um, in conjunction with my overhead uh, setup, uh, I, I drilled um, holes in this two by four uh, hanging contraption and actually hung the mics from there. I bought some XLR extension cables, ran them over and down the wall so they're out of the way, and that's helped immensely. I've, I've had to crank up the volume a little bit on it, but um, it, it, it's nice, it's out of the way, we don't have to worry about it, we don't even notice them half the time. So um, that's honestly the, the the nicest upgrade we've had so far and it, it does make a big difference. I mean, you can you can tell. So here's here's the iPhone 6. Here's the iPhone 11. And then here's the overhead microphone that I've got recording right now. So um, I, there's a lot more adjustments that I can make with the mixer. Uh, it's just been a huge blessing. Um, so that's audio and video. Uh, with the audio, we've got I've got the mixer running into my computer, and I'm recording everything through OBS, which is a free application, and it's absolutely amazing. It does way more than I could ever want and use. Uh, I use it for pretty basic right now, but you can you can set it up to use overlays. You can plug multiple webcams in and reposition them how you want. You can do like live streaming with it. Uh, it's top notch. I highly recommend it. And I'll, I'll, I'll switch over to that right now uh, to record the OBS software. Um, it's got this mirroring effect, so it looks kind of goofy, but you can see that uh, it's, it's currently recording um, everything. And uh, I've got you know, I can do monitor capture. So when my Gloomhaven playthroughs, I can capture our Gloomhaven helper app. I can I can uh, do webcams and record those as well if I need to. Uh, I haven't been happy. I've got I've got a couple Log, uh, Logitech uh, webcams, and I haven't been super happy with the quality uh, of those. So I've I've stuck with the iPhones. I'm. I can record up to 4K on my iPhones. I don't get a whole lot of recording time, um, uh, but I'm currently recording in 1080p, 60 FPS, I think, on my phones. Um, uh, I downsample it when I do my editing to 720p, uh, and the only reason I do that is because of the file size when I'm done. Uh, um, I, I don't have any issues with storage, but uploading them to YouTube, I don't have a great upload speed for my internet connection. So when I upload them, uh, you know, uh, at 720p, they're like 10 to 13 gigs, and it takes all night long. I just kick it off when I go to bed. When I get up in the morning, it's just finishing up. Uh, with uh, with 1080p, um, they're they're 30, 40 gigs sometime. Uh, that takes two days to upload, and and when I'm uploading those videos, it's not like I can do anything else. It absolutely kills my internet connection. So unfortunately, right now I'm kind of stuck to 720p until I upgrade my internet connection um, to to get those uploaded. Uh, so that's kind of the reasoning behind behind that. But but the iPhones are great. I mean, we can it records really high quality, and it's something that that I had laying around. You know, laying around. Yeah, you know, I had to get one. You know, an iPhone. 8 from my buddy when he upgraded. I'm using a work phone. I've press ganged my personal cell phone into recording this video. Um, and also uh, for my Etherfields playthrough, I've got like a little tripod uh, camera that I set up for close-ups of the board um, that that it does, doesn't uh, get the detail from my overhead uh, from my overhead camera. So um, it, it's all just you know, uh, stuff that I had laying around, um, uh, lighting next. Uh, so lighting has been my, my hardest learning curve. I am still not super happy with my setup. 
Um, I, I, I need to do some more tweaking with it. The, the lights are, are too harsh um, and not at the right angle. I've still have got some weird shadows, um, but, but what I have currently is I've got a bunch of can lights that are in my basement and I've, I've, un, I've turned off most of them. Uh, I've just found that they've, they cause a lot of, of, of glare and reflections. Um, they've caused weird shadows. Like I've got some lights above me that I tried to keep on because it illuminates the, the back wall behind me. Let me go turn those on actually real quick. You can see it illuminates behind me very well, but it casts my, my, my face in more shadow, even though I've got two lights kind of shining on me. Uh, it, 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 it does something weird. Uh, so it doesn't work. So, uh, I've, I've basically turned off all of my uh, like built-in lighting for my basement when I do my recording. And then on the right, my right side, your left, I've got a desk lamp with a, with a light plugged into it. Uh, and I've got it at an angle, um, uh, kind of midway to the table. And I've got it piled on some board games to get the height. I did have them sitting on the, on the table itself, but it seems like when the, the lighting is higher up, it does a better job of illuminating. Uh, I've also learned that um, it's good to have uh, two to three different light sources. Uh, so I've got two right now. Um, I still don't have the positioning right, but um, desk lamp on my right. On my left, I've got a ring light that I bought from Amazon for like 20 bucks, I think, uh, that, that has a few different color um, combinations that I can put on. I've kind of settled on this one because it seems the most natural. Um, and I've got it setting, I've got like a, a sit to stand desk and I, I put it all the way up and just set it on there uh, for when I'm recording. And, and I'm fairly happy with it. It's a lot better than when I first started when I had, I basically just used the lighting that was available in the basement from the, from the canned lighting in the ceiling. And it was, it was pretty bad. So uh, this is much better, but it's not perfect. I still have a ways to go on it. I'm still learning uh, what to do. Um, but again, it's, it's stuff that I have laying around my house. So, you know, to get started, really, you could have a couple desk lamps. You could have two iPhones or Android phones. Um, you can build uh, some some mounts for them or just buy like the tripod that I have uh, on my on my personal iPhone right now. And I'll show a B-roll of it. Um, it's basically just, it, it's like, it was like a $15 purchase. Um, and that you can just set those up you know, off the table or even on the table and just deal with the shake. Um, and you can do great quality videos. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's my basic setup where I've come and where I've gone. Um, I, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, I mean, I'd only, I only have a couple hundred subscribers at this point. I don't want to invest more money in, in it, uh, until, you know, if I, if I get like five or 10,000, then maybe I'll purchase some nicer cameras. But for now, the iPhones, I'm really happy with them. I think the biggest upgrade for me at this point would be to upgrade my internet connection so that I can start uploading in 1080 or 4K, uh, which I think would make a huge difference. Um, so, so that's it for the basics. Um, a next episode, uh, I, I'm going to talk about the editing software that I use, which is uh, completely free. Spoiler: It's DaVinci Resolve, um, and and kind of how I uh, set up um, overlays for uh, for my playthroughs, so that I can overlay cards and information to help help you guys follow along in my playthroughs. Uh, I've learned quite a bit over the years on how to do that, and then how to implement them in my videos. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you how to do overlays. I'll show you how to do basic editing with DaVinci Resolve and, and kind of my process. Um, it's, it's, it takes a long time, guys. I got to tell you, the editing process uh, on average takes twice to uh, two to two and a half times the recording time. So if you have a one hour gameplay video, it's going to take you two and a half, two to two and a half hours to edit it. And that's once you get your groove down the first time you edit the video, it'll take you maybe three times as long. Cause you're trying to figure out, okay, well, I kind of want this card positioning here. I need to build this overlay a little bit differently because it doesn't work with the camera angle, um, uh, that kind of thing. So, uh, uh, 
that's all spoilers for next episode though. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I really hope this helps um, people to, to not be so intimidated by um, starting a channel and, and uh, posting board game playthroughs. I'm, I'm having a blast with it. I'm having a really good time. I love the community that, that I've built up, even though it's, it's only 200 people um, the, the community that, that I've built, especially around our Gloomhaven playthroughs are, are just absolutely amazing. I love waking up on Monday morning and seeing their comments and, uh, and them laughing at us for our stupid jokes and, and, uh, and helping out with rules clarifications. So, uh, it really is just, uh, a good time. It's it's a ton, a ton of work, and it's exhausting some days. And uh, there are definitely days where I feel like, is this really worth it? But um, but then the rest of the time, I, I I just love it. I have a good time. I even enjoy the editing most of the time. So, uh, anyways, we'll we'll end this episode here. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, uh, leave a like and a subscribe uh, if you want to see more of these episodes. And feel free to leave comments if you have any other questions about my setup. I'd be more than happy to post pictures or uh, further videos um, to to help out with that. Uh, but. Anyways, uh, see you next time.